Hi Pisces, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the time period of mid-August through mid-September. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, just go into my description box in the About section and you can book a reading right through there. Um, please make sure that you send me all of the background information that you would like for me to know and uh, I will get your reading out to you. Also, please note that the reading that you book is not for that day. It could take up to seven days. If I can get it to you sooner, I certainly will. Okay, so Pisces, let's get started with your reading. And sorry for the delay, everyone. I'm trying to do a million different things, multitasking. So um, I think this will be the last set of readings that I need to get up and out to you guys. So thank you so much for your patience and all of your kind comments. I truly appreciate that. Okay, so the card that I pulled at the bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. And so this is your energy, okay? If it's not your energy, then you are, some of you are dealing with another water sign. Okay, the King of Cups, generally so in a general tarot reading this could be male or female but the description of the king of cups is someone who could be a great parent uh, a great spouse someone who is tolerant someone who thrives on empathy very compassionate a bit reserved in their emotions for the males and for the females um, someone who could be nurturing helpful healing and supportive so if this is someone that you're dealing with this could be the energy of them that is significant in your life during this time or Pisces this is just you and your how you are coming across during this time period to others okay now when I was looking at your reading there are at least three people showing up in this reading okay so We'll start with your past position. You have the moon card, okay? Things in the recent past may have come to light for you. Maybe some unseen problems, maybe some changes that you made in your life, emotional changes that you made in your life in the past. This could be in the past as far as yesterday, the past week, the past few months, past few years, really just depends on your situation. Um, and the moon card is also the card of Pisces too. So I feel like you have been really in tune with yourself and or with another person or another person has really made some changes, emotional changes in their life recently. Okay, things that, you know, maybe they truly didn't understand what was going on with them emotionally and maybe things have been revealed to them or things have been revealed to you. Okay, it's not necessarily just a person, and I really don't want to place astrological signs to the major arcana cards because there's just too much confusion. If I did that, then we've got like a slew of people here. Um, so I just really feel like things have come to light for you in the past. Emotional things, things you did not know, not fully have not fully come to light like with the sun card out in the open but just maybe trusting your intuition or having some hunches about things starting to happen or had begun to come forward for you now in the position of your present day issues going on you're closing the book on something you're ending a chapter okay and with these new moon phases that are happening during this time I feel like you've cycled through or you will be cycling through sometime in the beginning of the month where you're putting an end to something with the hanged man crossing it it's like you've got this wisdom you've sacrificed you have a new unique perspective um, you're no longer waiting you are maybe taking the bull by the horns during this time to try to manifest things in your life the hangman in the upright you know he gets to this point in his life where he's accepted certain things he's accepted his circumstances or a situation or uh, something going on with a relationship or you know whether it was a breakup or finding out some truths 
you know, and really just saying, well, this is how it is. And this is, there's nothing I can do about it. So it's a challenge for you though, to come to that place of acceptance. But I feel like whomever you've been dealing with or are currently dealing with right now, you're ready to cycle past this now and come into this place of acceptance to really just let go and say, okay, everything's going to be fine. You're on a new path now. Okay, what's driving you at this time is the high priest. So some of you really are thinking about having or creating a new commitment in your life or looking for that in your life. Or even if you're with someone at this time, I feel like you're looking to, you know, maybe marriage or receive a proposal or offer to propose to someone. You're ready to, you know, you're sticking with your truth. Okay, and, and what's driving you during this time is you're really ready to, you're being very intuitive as well, but you're ready to move forward. You have someone on your mind. You have this King of Pentacles that's crowning you. So some of you may be dealing with an earth sign, okay, or you just have this person on your mind constantly, a lot of the time. Um, male or female, the King of Pentacles comes across as someone who is very solid. If it's a male, this person's very practical. He's focused on material success. You know, um, this is someone who, not overly emotional, can be emotionally reserved, okay? Um, unlike you, who you feel everything very deeply. The King of Pentacles, you know, the earth signs, they do feel things deeply, but the way they project their emotions, uh, they, they maybe project them in more of a lateral way through art, through writing, through business, things like that, where, you know, you just, you're, you're just a walking, feeling thermometer is what you are. You're, you, you know, you, when you feel something like, <laughs> I don't know really how to, how to say it. Some of you keep your feelings, some of you are a bit more introverted, but you're similar in a way to the King of Pentacles. If this, if you're dealing with a Virgo, this is someone who is opposite you in the natal, asp, in the natal uh, realm, in the in your astrological realm. But it could be a Capricorn, it could be a Taurus, whomever it is. They're, they're just very reserved type of a person. You know, they're very business oriented. Taurus a little bit more uh, artsy, so to speak, but a, a little bit more emotional and feeling wise. Um, but definitely this could be someone on your mind. And, and if it's not, uh, for example, if you have another water sign on your mind, they could come across as the King of Pentacles, as more earthy, more grounded, more stable. They could come across as someone who is, um, you know, they could have a lot of earth in their chart. Okay, so this person is definitely whomever you're thinking about, they have that energy. Now, the near future card is the Queen of Swords. So some of you, this person that you could be dealing with, could have someone else who is an air sign in their life. Could be a female air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And this person's very like a truth teller type of a person, but she can be a little bit cold in some way. Okay, um, yeah, I feel like this person is significant in some way, male or female. This person is very quick act, quick acting, like a th quick acting thought type of a leader. But all of this, this white snow, and she wears this blue robe. She has this sword crossing her heart. So she's got sometimes this defensive energy. She's not very, she tries to be warm and loving. She wears this red coat and the red is the sign of passion. So she does have passions within her. Um, but with all this gray, she's a bit cold. So some of you could be dealing, uh, this person could come into the picture a little bit later in the month. Uh, this could be a spouse. You could be interested in this earth sign who has this spouse that you may find out later that there is someone in their life, okay, who 
could interject and find out about a situation and she could come to the forefront. I don't really feel like Pisces, this is your energy coming through, quite honestly. Um, if you are a male listening to this, you could have this earth sign who you are who is on your mind or who is significant to you, but there could also be this Queen of Swords, this Queen that comes through for you, who I feel like I want to pull a card to find out what exactly for all of you this, why this person is significant. Oh, <laughs> that's strange. So the King of Swords also. <laughs> so you guys, I don't know, you're dealing with some air people going on in your life. I'm going to pull one more card. It's just making me mad. Why are, maybe another couple? Two air sign people who are going to be significant to you? Who are going to help you transform something in your life? Hmm, it's very interesting. I don't usually pull clarification cards in these readings, but there's some kind of a mystery. And then the Ace of Rods I wanted to pull. You're trying to have a new beginning with this person, but with this earth person earth sign person but i don't know what's going on here with these two air sign people brother sister um these people are external to you i feel like even though they're not in the external position they're external to you and with the death card they're they're either they're trying to influence some kind of a change in your life and i'm not sure you have to, I really would like, if this resonates for you, please leave me a comment as to what the significance is of these two people, or it's just this masculine and feminine energy of one person who is trying to influence you in some way. But as I said, it was external, and I feel like if it's just this one person, and this person could be stalking you or watching you for some reason. The Page of Swords is someone, this can, this can be a card of spying um, or gossip or someone who's trying to infiltrate your life in some way to maybe, maybe put a stop to a relationship that you are currently having with an earth sign or for some of you who are single, this could be relatives who are trying to warn you maybe about this person, okay? And this page of swords, this is like communication as well through email, text, uh, phone calls, speaking, and trying to get some truth out. Sometimes this card can talk about arguments. But your position of you is you're wanting to offer your love to someone, okay? Or you're, you know, you're in this mindset or, or you're hoping someone will offer their love to you, which is what the Knight of Cups is about. But I feel like what's coming through is, you know, this card's about romantic love and proposal, but I feel like somebody's trying to get in the middle or two people are trying to get in the middle or one person who has got a lot of this dominant energy, male and female, who's trying to, I feel like they're, they're going to reach out and try to tell you the truth about somebody, uh, the truth about this other person. Okay. So in your hopes and fears, you have the emperor so I feel like with the Emperor card here, I don't, I just feel like this card is really coming through as, <sighs> for some of you, males or females, this could be your parents, <clears throat> mostly a father figure, 
okay? Um, and maybe there's a fear that they will try to get involved in this situation or this person, or, or it, it's like a, like a two, like, it, well, it doesn't have to be air signs as well. It, it could just be people that come across with this energy of just being very truth telling and cold and giving it matter of fact. And the, the emperor always represents a father figure or someone who's a strategic planner or, um, and no, I'm not going to show those cards because I'm just shuffling or someone who commands respect. And this could be something that you want some, these people to start respecting you for some reason. I don't know. I don't, you're going to have to let me know if these two people show up or if they're involved in your life in somehow, some way. Um, it could be some, it could be exes trying to show up here and stop something. I don't know. I just feel like you're going to get some truth about something, but I really don't feel like you're going to be, uh, <laughs> really listening because I think you're going to follow your heart. Although I just pulled that, <laughs> the seven of swords. So your main card that's showing up here is the two of cups. And so what you're feeling, Pisces, and this is also your energy here, this queen of cups, what you're feeling is a soulmate connection with this person, but there is some kind of deception. And I feel like Sagittarius got this as well. Um, there is some kind of deception going on here. So you may not listen to whatever is being told to you by some other person or a couple of other people because you want to follow your heart. But you may actually find out the truth about something. You know, this could be this person that you're interested in. This could be you could find out that this person has someone else on the side and you know that they're married or that there is someone else significant in their life and they get involved in trying to stop you or this relationship from happening. Okay. Uh, it, and that's just for some of you. It could also just be it could be brothers and sisters that you could have that could be trying to get you to see the light about something about this this person that you could be dealing with even though you're trying to have a new beginning with them I don't know I would just kind of like keep your eyes open about this relationship if you if you're just meeting this person for the first time keep your keep your eyes open about this person watch and see if there is some kind of deception or something going on. It could also just be, you know, you fearing. Yeah, I just think it, could, it might have something to do with this moon card, with things being revealed during uh, it, coming into this energy and you just staying patient and calm about it right now. I think you're going to be really just opening your eyes at this time in regard to love if you're single keeping your eyes open being a bit cautious but also going with your heart okay and if this person is coming in for you or this is someone you're currently dealing with that you're hoping that they will make a move towards you you have some very interesting energy happening happening over he, over here so you may need to really take a closer look even though you may feel very connected or want to be very connected to this person or want to reconnect with someone you've been dealing with there is something that you need to just pay attention to during this time period with the seven of swords okay because the seven of swords it's not my most favorite card <laughs> But it does come through as someone who is, you know, betrays or there's dishonesty or someone who runs away or there's divorce or there's an affair. Okay. Uh, this is someone who's like a thief of hearts as well. So yeah, some of you may just want to be stolen, have your heart stolen. It really just depends. It's just to kind of like uh, trust your gut during this time because that's what the Queen of Cups does. She trusts her gut. She's very intuitive. All right. So really try to be intuitive about uh, this relationship and what it is that you want. Okay. All right, Pisces, I'm going to end your reading there. Um, 
please let me know in the comments. It's a very simple reading, but do let me know in the comments if this resonated for you in some way. And thank you so much for your patience and waiting for me to get these readings out. And again, if you would like to purchase a reading from me, I'm still running the How They Feel About You special on my website, moonpietarot.com. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.